Write in your journal tonight if you've ever said something like this. Just close your eyes and listen to this. I just have a lot of feelings right now. Can you feel it? You don't understand me. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about Enneagram 4s, AKA the romantic or the individualist. At their best, healthy 4s have a huge emotional range. They are deeply creative, emotionally honest, and attuned to beauty in the world. So I happen to be dating a 4 right now, and he is the best. But today we're gonna be diving into some of the things that are not the best about his Enneagram type. So John, if you're watching this, hello, and I love you so much. <laughs> so with that said, I'm gonna share with you seven annoying things that Enneagram 4s do and say. But keep in mind that this is all in good fun. I just wanna explore the Enneagram types in a funny, lighthearted way. Number one, fours are prone to melancholy. It's not depression, but it's kind of like a wistful, pining state of thinking. And there's nothing wrong with melancholy. It can be beautiful and create beautiful works of art. But if it goes on too long, melancholy can turn into melodrama. Carl unfriended me on Instagram. This is a calamity. I'm never gonna have friends ever again. Carl. Number two, Enneagram 4s struggle with feeling dissatisfaction in their life. They're always wanting something that they can't have. And in relationships that translates to constantly looking and not being satisfied with their partner because they can feel like they want this ideal soulmate that probably doesn't exist. So I broke up with Justin. What? A week ago he was your soulmate. Eh, as soon as I decided that the magic went away. I'm shocked. Yeah. Oh, I did find this new guy though. He's so cute. I'm gonna show you this picture. Oh, I'm just imagining our entire future together. See, isn't he cute? I just love him so much. Oh my gosh. I wonder what our babies are gonna look like. No, we haven't gone on our first date yet. He doesn't know who I am actually, but he will. Number three, the deadly sin of the Enneagram Four is envy. They constantly desire others who have a better house, a cooler job, a happier family. This envy paired with a feeling that they're never actually complete can make fours go on this never ending quest of trying to find the missing piece of themselves. I wish my coffee looked as good as your coffee. It's the same coffee from the same coffee pot. Yeah. It just seems like yours is better than mine. You could have my coffee. No, 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 I don't want yours. I just want mine to be as good as yours. Okay. Number four, Enneagram fours can be manipulative. They play the role of the victim in order to make other people maintain and create relationships with them. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? I lost my job today. Oh. That's two. And I broke up with my boyfriend, Justin, and I towed my car, and I got a huge fight with my mom, and I stubbed my toe on our coffee table. Oh, that's a lot. I'm really sorry. So do you want to go to the movies with me now? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Number five. Enneagram fours can sometimes disappear and go radio silent for days. Number six, Enneagram fours have a hard time being around overly happy people. Good morning, oh, I love Monday mornings. What a beautiful morning, what a great start to the day. It's gonna be a migraine day. Number seven, fours wanna be seen as special and different. They like things that are unconventional or refined, and it's totally okay to like things like that, but sometimes that can make fours overly judgmental about things that are ordinary or basic. Hmm, pumpkin spice latte season. You want some? I don't know you. You wanna taste? It's pumpkin-y. You have to try it. Here, take a little sippy sip. Take a little sip, a little taste, a little tasty taste, just like sip on a leaf. Sip on a pumpkin pie. If you're an Enneagram 4, did these resonate with you? Let me know in the comments below. I read all the comments and I love getting comments, so please leave me one. And if you're not an Enneagram 4, you can send this over to your Enneagram 4 friends and hopefully they don't disappear and go radio silent for days after you send it to them. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I put up new videos every Thursday and also check out the Enneagram playlist in the description down below if you wanna try to find your number or find all of your friends and family's numbers and send it to them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely, lovely day.